Exactly one year ago, Zimbabwe recorded its first COVID-19 death. It was also the first death in the Sadek region. It was the death of media personality Zororo Makamba, son of businessman James Makamba. Today, Zimbabwe joins the Makamba family and all families who have lost loved ones to COVID-19 in remembering these individuals whose lives were snuffed out by the virus. ZTN correspondent Robert Mukondewa gives us more. A year ago today, Zimbabwe entered a dark era, joining several nations across the globe as they marked a gloomy occurrence. The coronavirus pandemic in the country had finally claimed a casualty. And it was a face much known and loved, that of journalist Zororo Makamba. It was always a long time coming, but even when it hit home, the fear was palpable and coronavirus suddenly became all the more real. Zororo Makamba was a beloved broadcaster and media mogul in the making, himself the spawn of media royalty in the form of communications personality come business mogul James Makamba. Today, a year on, the virus has claimed 1,514 lives in the frontiers of Zimbabwe alone. If COVID-19 was just a fear, this time last year it finally got a face, going on to claim many others of repute. Today, Narare many paid tribute to Zimbabwe's casualty zero on the anniversary of his death. Ruvene Koparere Nyatwa is a well-known face in Zimbabwean media. She was touched personally by the death of someone she knew and loved as both a person and a personality. While Ruveneko's wound is yet to turn into a scar, others seem to echo similar sentiments. Still haunted by the loss of Zororo, none more than another colleague and personal friend Nelson Masiwa. Zoro was a, was, was, was a brave man, a very brave young man, and with a vision, eloquence, and articulate in issues and matters. It's a sad loss. It's a very sad loss that we succumbed to cure to COVID related issues early before we even got the jab. I, I today myself, I got vaccinated at will, and I wish you could have got the same chance to get vaccinated as well. But it's a sad loss. It's a loss to our generation as well. That it took the loss of such a shining light to jerk the nation into taking the virus more seriously and attaching a name and face to it is unfortunate. But the nation has since made strides in its COVID-19 response, recording remarkably low mortalities a year on compared to their back garden South Africa, which by comparison has suffered a great many more lives lost. Yet perhaps if the nation is to honor Zororo and make his death mean something at least, the tide ought to be made a trickle and then a stop especially in the vaccine rollout that is being spearheaded by the nation alongside the World Health Organization and other willing partners. It may be a marathon, not a sprint, but it can, will and should be achieved. Meanwhile, Zororo's face will remain a constant visual reminder that coronavirus is real and tragically dangerous. Reporting for ZTN, I'm Robert Mkundiwa.